to the show right now. Listen up for this one, parents. If your kids have an allowance that maybe you give them, maybe you reward them for chores, um, there are apparently five big mistakes that parents make with their children's allowances. You know, allowances are like paychecks for kids. A little cash from mom and dad can teach them valuable lessons about money at a really early age. Well, financial advisor Mark Lampkin is breaking it all down for us this morning with Lampkin Wealth Management because it's, I give Jack, like I did, you know, when right. he was younger, chore money. And right. I thought, look at me. Look at me teaching lessons. You are teaching lessons. And now and you're making what, me feel like maybe I kind of went about it the wrong. What age did you start giving Jack um, uh, allowance? Eight, nine, ten-ish age range, right? When they, they could understand, okay, on Saturdays, right. we, you know, clean sheets. We vacuum. We, we do things to kind of teach this is what we do when you live in a family together. So this is a controversial topic, uh, right? So this comes from marketwatch.com. This is the latest research. And uh, um, when you should, when should you start? And really it's preschool, when the child can preschool. learn to count. Oh. That way they can count their money. So what happens is, is a dollar for each year. So a five-year-old mm. would get five bucks a week. A seven-year-old would get seven bucks a week. And so that's that's how we actually start and when you should start doing that and teaching them to count and save and, and having those discussions. So you think it's a good idea that, that you that you start that and the you instill that. The earlier you start, the, earlier better, the better. Because it'll, if you start it that early, it sticks and you can start having those money talks mm. about the crayons are three bucks and look how much of the allowance it will take. And then also, yeah. you can start instilling savings early. So what I want is a third of that money I want you to put it in mm. that, that little canister right there. Or if they want a toy, you're gonna show them how to save. And it's it's amazing how even five, six, seven, eight year olds oh, wow. can grasp that. So where do parents like go off the rails though? That, <laughs> right? Good when, point. when do the mistakes start happening here? And what are the big mistakes? So that this you make? is this is a very debatable topic, right? Yeah. So most people tie their child's allowance to chores. And I think that's a huge mistake. Hmm. Right? Yeah. Because most people, my parents did. And what happens is if they save enough money, then in their mind, they can stop doing their chores. Oh, right? Yeah. So you need to do your chores to be a productive oh. member of your family. The allowance That's is on non top of that. Non negotiable. <laughs> non negotiable. So the allowance is on top of that where you can get them to do extra things to save that money to yeah. let them know that there are certain things you do to be part of the family, there are certain things you do to save. Mm -hmm. And the other thing, according to Market Watch, is 75% of boys get allowances and only 50% of ladies, what? of children get, women get Stop allowances. It. So What's I mean, going on? What the heck? Why do you think that happens? You know, um, my what? mom said I treated Zach very different than Sydney because mm. I was kid gloves with Sydney, very tough on Zach. You think you treat your kids the same, but if you take a step back, you don't. And oftentimes women get the short of the stick, whether it's wages in the, wage for, in the workforce, or even allowances mm -hmm. according to that study. So you start sure that discussion keep... early, just think with that young lady growing up thinking, well, I am valued just as much, right? right? You're That's learning exactly about money right. and finances and investing as uh, a young woman. Um, do you think that as parents, we obsess too much over how to give, like how much to give that child. It is, and it's and really at that. That's why you start early. Yeah. At that five, six, seven, when they can count, they don't have that grasp of wait, my friend's getting twenty dollars or getting three dollars. I don't know. Jack had words with me that his <laughs> friend made more, and I was apparently like undervaluing you were a bad mom. it. I was like, what is this all about? You know, I found the uh, Greenlight app, the Greenlight banking app. Yes. So it has like a credit card attached to it. And I don't, I'm not endorsing green light. That's what you right. always say when you come out here. I'm not endorsing green light or they didn't pay me to like say this, but I found it's very effective because it teaches savings. I can have it on Jack's phone. That's exactly right. I can move money back and forth and be able to check. And whenever he makes a purchase, it tells me. The more interaction you have from a mobile app, especially now with the kids, because yeah. let's face it, they're going to go that route. Um, the earlier you start, the Greenlight app, Mint.com we Mint were talking com. about. That's a good one too. Um, and another thing I like to do is even if it's just one share and get the actual certificate, mm. like of Disney for example, um, just to have that, or if they ha if they play Legos, get you know just find that one share of stock and make them safe Ooh, for that. Yes. It's just a good way to do this. And but the mistakes, don't obsess over the amount. Mm. Pay your son and daughter equal. Make sure you're making them save a third of this money, mm -hmm. right? And they can show. A third is a good number. That's it, like your rule. Start off a third, third. At, at, mm -hmm. that, at that age. And then find something that they want to save for. Just don't let them have this money. There should be no strings attached, and they should have some instant gratification. Mm -hmm. But make them save for something, XYZ toy or whatever it is. Make it fun, 
but you teach that concept of saving and that delayed gratification. And if you use allowance in that manner, you'll teach them a lifetime of money skills. I don't know if they have this anymore, if you'd recommend something like this. I remember growing up, my mom would have like a Christmas bond or a Christmas yeah. account thing where mm -hmm. you would get Christmas the money. savings accounts, yeah, yes. I love the Christmas savings account. Do they have that anymore? They do, but certain you'd banks, get the, yeah. you'd, you'd save the money and you'd take it to the bank and then you'd get the money at Christmas time to like buy whatever it's, you wanted. And it's cool that like, who goes to the bank anymore? Right, I know. But for allowance, yeah. if you have time as a parent, um, to, to have them physically go in, have that relationship with that banker so oh, they yeah. can put, or, or broker, it, it, or planner, it, it allows them to have that interaction and it's just not some app. Yeah. So the more personable, the more delayed gratification, teach savings, and as soon as they can count, I say start the allowance start and up. lay it out and make them count it. Mm -hmm. And literally you move that third to the little jar and then when you go to the bank you do it. But the more interaction they have with people, and the more you teach, people don't teach enough about money. No, they don't. I think sometimes we're afraid to talk about don't it. Don't tie it to Glad chores Glad we're either. talking about it here, Mark. That's Love right. It. Love it. All right, so if you're interested in uh, getting more information or maybe scheduling your first visit with Mark Lampkin, because you know what? He can talk about a lot of stuff. <laughs> and he can he can advise you on a lot of stuff here. Uh, head on over to lampkinwealth.com or give him a call at 690-6764.